Hi everyone, in this video we are going to go over the installation process of Python on the Windows operating system. Now, if you are on Linux or Mac OS, then Python should already be pre-installed, and if that is the case, then you can skip this video, thanks for watching, talk to you later. However, if you are on Windows, then please stick around. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to www.python.org, which is Python's official website, and then we're going to go to Downloads, Windows, we're going to scroll to, we're going to do Python 3.8.8, .8, and we're going to come down here, where is it, all the way down here, and then you will want to select the version that is appropriate for your system. I am on a 64-bit system, so I'm going to select the 64-bit one, and that should download for me. Now once that downloads, we need to verify that the file is authentic and that nobody tampered with it. And to do that, all we got to do is copy the md5 sum that corresponds with the installer that you downloaded. So I'm going to copy this one, control C, and then paste to notepad. There we go. Okay, now you're going to want to open PowerShell, and we need to type a few commands here. The first one is cd downloads. Now we are in the downloads directory. Now we can do a dir. And here we see we have the Python uh, installer that we downloaded. And now we need to uh, get its MD5 hash. And to do that, we do get dash file hash dash a for um, algorithm. And then MD5, oops, 5. And then Python dash 3, press tab to autocomplete, press enter. And now we are going to copy this hash from the output. Control C. Back over to Notepad, we are going to copy that hash, and we can see it is identical to the one that we got from Python's website, which means no one has touched the file or modified it in any malicious way, which means it is safe to install. All right, now you're going to want to open up the installer that we downloaded, and you're going to want to select Add Python 3.8 to Path, and this will just make running Python much simpler instead of typing the full path uh, to the Python interpreter, which can get a little bit tricky and messy. Okay, now we are going to select install now, and this should install. It might take a minute or two, but it'll get there. That is finished. Now we just gotta press close. All right, now to see if Python is installed correctly, just open up the command prompt and type in Python. Press enter, and there we go. Python 3.8 interpreter has started up. You can type a bit of code here if you like. It's a terrible idea to actually write programs here, but it is perfectly fine for testing out simple one-liners like this. You know, the good old hello world. That's good. You can do mathematical uh, expressions if you like. That's nice. Um, but we really want to use Python for it, for running Python files with multiple lines of code in them. Now, running a Python file is very simple. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the directory um, of the Python file that you want to run. So I have a Python file in a directory called Python Projects, so I'm going to go there. And the file that I want to run is called test.py, so I'm going to type in Python, and then the name of the file that I want to run, which is test.py, and there we go. It worked. All right, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.